If you don't want to go through the hassle of importing products from China or dealing with Chinese suppliers, this video will teach you how to find wholesale suppliers in the United States. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Now, when it comes to finding suppliers for products to sell online, most people look towards China and other Asian countries because the price of labor is far cheaper than the US. But working with Asian vendors comes at a cost. For example, you have to deal with language barriers. You have to adapt to cultural differences. You have to pay import duties on your goods. You have to pay a high cost of shipping from overseas. You have to contend with longer lead times for production. And you have to communicate in different time zones. Now, in contrast, working with vendors in the US is much more straightforward. There is no communication barrier. The minimum order quantities tend to be lower, and the cost of shipping is significantly less. In addition, there aren't any import duties. Now, one of the biggest mistakes new importers make is not taking into account the tariffs that are imposed on certain raw materials. And depending on the product, these extra taxes can significantly increase your cost of goods. Now, first off, there's this misconception that everything is cheaper in China, but that's actually not the case. In fact, the cost of raw materials is very similar between the US and China. For example, if I want to create plastic products and I already own my molds, the cost of plastic is more or less the same whether I produce my products in China or the US. Now, the primary advantage of sourcing from China is the cost of labor, which is more than an order of magnitude less than the US. As a result, any type of product that involves a high percentage of human labor will almost always be cheaper in China. This includes woodworking, sewing, stitching, packaging, assembly, etc. But if you're just getting started in e-commerce, or if you are terrified of high tariffs on certain materials and products, then you may want to consider sourcing from the United States. And oftentimes, if you factor in the extra cost of shipping, import duties, material defects, and the headaches of dealing with Chinese vendors, going with a local US vendor might actually make sense. In any case, I will let you be the judge. Here is how I find suppliers in the United States. Method number one, use Reference USA, which is otherwise known as Data Axle today. Now, in all my years of teaching e-commerce, I find it perplexing that almost no one ever mentions Reference USA as a resource. Not only is Reference USA or Data Axle 100% free, but it's probably the best and most comprehensive database available in the United States. Now, what is Reference USA? Reference USA offers the most up-to-date data on businesses in the US and it can be used to locate any type of company nationwide, research business executives at any company, find business opportunities and suppliers for your e-commerce store, and find manufacturers to produce your products. But there is a small catch. Reference USA can only be accessed at your local library, but most libraries support it. And here's how you get access. So step number one, you have to call your local library and ask them if they have access to Reference USA or Data Axle. Now, Reference USA has a handy library locator that you can find in the notes below. Step number two is you need to get a library card. Now, most of you probably haven't set foot in a library since the dawn of the internet, but you'll have to physically go in to get your library card. Now, library cards are free, and you can actually rent movies, video games, and books in addition to access Reference USA. And then step three, you have to access Reference USA from the library website. Now, most likely, you'll be asked to type in your library card number and a four-digit PIN to access Reference USA. All right, and here's how to use Reference USA once you get in. When you first log in, it will ask you what you want to search for. Then you want to click on US Businesses, and then you want to click on Advanced Search. Now, from here, I click on the following. Now, this tells Reference USA to include smaller businesses in the search results. Under Keyword SIC NAICS, this allows you to search by keyword or topic. And then finally, under city and state, you obviously want to include what location that you're at. Then I enter in what I'm looking for along with the geography. For example, let's say I want a plastic mold company in Santa Clara, California. After I click on the view results button, I'm presented with a list of plastic mold manufacturers in my area. And it's that simple. Overall, Reference USA is a great way to find contact information for any business in the US. Now, the only downside, is that Reference USA also returns retail businesses as well. So as a result, you often have to sift through the results to find your real suppliers. Method number two, use thomasnet.com. Now thomasnet.com is another database of US suppliers that primarily caters to industrial and commercial suppliers. And what's nice about Thomasnet compared to Reference USA is that Thomasnet only includes real suppliers and not retail shops. As a result, you won't have to do as much sifting through the Thomasnet results.
Now, the downside, of course, is that Reference USA is infinitely larger than ThomasNet because it has access to every business in the United States. Now, for all practical purposes, I like to start on ThomasNet first and then use Reference USA if I can't find anything good. Now, using the same example from Reference USA that I used earlier, let's look for plastic mold manufacturers on Thomas.net. Now, as you can see, Thomas.net returns very specific plastic suppliers categorized by their specialty. Then you can limit the results based on your geography. Now, once again, Thomas.net is more geared towards industrial suppliers, so you probably won't find general consumer products on there. But if you are looking to fabricate your own designs, whether it be clothing, plastic, or metal, then thomasnet.com is an excellent resource. In addition, you can also find CAD designers and clothing designers if you want to create your own custom products from scratch. Method number three, use worldwide brands. Now, worldwide brands is a service that aggregates light bulk and dropship wholesalers into a nice searchable directory. And they also pre-vet these suppliers to make sure that they are legit. Now, I've had a Worldwide Brands account since 2011, and while I don't use the directory that much these days, it's actually an excellent resource for finding light bulk and dropship suppliers in the United States. Now, what does light bulk mean exactly? A light bulk supplier is a term coined by Worldwide Brands for suppliers that require a minimum buy of $500 or less. As a result, you can get started for a much lower cost than going with a traditional factory. Now, while this sounds great for beginners, the reason why I haven't used Worldwide Brands in ages is because I no longer dropship and I don't sell other people's products at all. In fact, longtime readers of mywifequitterjob.com know that I'm pretty anti-dropshipping in general, but I get enough questions about dropshipping that I feel compelled to address them. Now here's what the interface for Worldwide Brands looks like when you log in. By entering a product, Worldwide Brands will return a list of suppliers. And by clicking on the See Full Details button, you can get that supplier's contact information, minimum order quantity, and their vendor website. Now, if you're struggling to find dropship vendors in the United States, then Worldwide Brands can save you a lot of time. Method number four, use Maker's Row. Now, Maker's Row is a directory of over 10,000 U.S. manufacturers across over a dozen different industries. And similar to ThomasNet, you can search by location and capability. Now, Maker's Row is actually considered a premium service, and it comes at a monthly membership cost. But their interface allows you to easily get estimates, book consultations, and reach out to real U.S. manufacturers. And here's how it works. Once you sign up, you can browse the directory of manufacturers. And what's nice is that Maker's Row presents you with a beautiful view of the factory, including reference samples, pictures, and videos. There, you can learn about the manufacturer, make contact, and book a consult. Now, once you've selected a factory, Maker's Row has project management software built in to allow you to provide product details and manage your entire production process. Now, keep in mind that Maker's Row is tailored towards businesses looking to manufacture their own products from complete scratch. And similar to ThomasNet and Reference USA, you will have to do most of the heavy lifting in contacting and interfacing with manufacturers. Now, how do you choose from the different supplier research tools that I just specified? Now, when it comes to sourcing products to sell, the four tools that I just described serve different purposes. ThomasNet and Maker's Row are much more useful if you plan on creating and manufacturing your own products from scratch. As a result, you won't find many suppliers on either service that sells other people's branded products. Now, Reference USA is a directory of every single business in the US, which makes it much more versatile than ThomasNet. However, you will have to go through the results of your searches more carefully to find a supplier that matches your needs. Now, if you're looking for wholesale vendors, try including the keyword wholesale alongside of your search keyword terms. And then finally, Worldwide Brands is a directory of pre-vetted dropship and light bulk wholesale suppliers in the United States. And there you'll find suppliers who are willing to dropship their own brands. Now, when it comes to sourcing the US, it pays to do a full cost benefit analysis with an equivalent Chinese manufacturer. So get a quote from a Chinese factory and be sure to factor in costs such as the cost of inspection, the cost of freight forwarding, the cost of import taxes and duties, and in addition to pure dollar costs, be sure to factor in a small amount, which I call the mental anguish tax. After all, dealing with Chinese suppliers will often take away a piece of your sanity because they are always trying to cut corners and save on costs. Now, when all is said and done, sometimes it's worth using a U.S. manufacturer, even if the cost is a little bit higher. After all, the lead times will be much shorter, which will allow your business to be more nimble. In addition, it's also nice to know that you're only a short flight away from visiting the factory floor of your U.S. manufacturer. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.